The method of chair seat testing conforms to British standard BIFMA 5.1. The machine works on a pneumatic system and is equipped with a control system. To the controller contains all the information of test parameters. There are options to conduct the test under single cycle mode or under multi cycle mode. Under the multiple cycle mode, the number of cycles to perform, the test force, time for which the test force is applied can be entered. The frame of the machine on which this pneumatic cylinder is mounted is made up of aluminum profiles. This is aluminium 6063 material and these profiles have different cross sections. The profiles used in this machine are of different sizes like this is a 8080 size and they are cut into different lengths also. In order to make joints we use brackets. So this is a cast bracket, aluminium cast bracket which is fitted like this in order to create a joint so this is a L joint and here you use and screws in order to secure the two aluminium profile different types of brackets were used to assemble the aluminium profiles these aluminium profiles are basically cast ones and the sizes are provided right at the bottom also like it is given 4075 so 40 is basically this dimension this this length is 40 this length is also 40 and then this length dimension is 75 the fasteners which are used include the flange nut this is a hexagonal nut made of stainless steel then you have a T bolt this T bolt actually can be easily fitted into the space that is inside the profile So this space is already there in the aluminium profile. Then you have button head screws and then you have such T slots or T nuts. And washers are used to increase the bearing area. These T slots also can be easily inserted into the spaces provided in the profile and can be moved to any position. You will see the assembly of two aluminium profiles using the bracket T bolt can be easily fitted into the bracket by first of all aligning the, the head with the hole and then it can be easily inserted then once you rotate it by 90 degree the bolt remains at its position and cannot be pulled out. machine requires compressed air to operate. Here you have the compressor unit. The compressor unit is also fitted with a storage cylinder where air is stored at a pressure of 7 psi. It is indicated on the dial gauge here. This air first passes through a FRL unit. This is called a filter regulator lubricator unit oil of specified viscosity is stored the purpose of this component is to maintain the pressure then it also lubricates the air so that all the moving parts in the in this machine like cylinder or other walls are lubricated and do not catch rust the pressure of the frl unit 
can be controlled from this knob. This is a manually operated knob and you can change the pressure settings from here. Filter units simply do not allow any kind of contamination to pass through the tubing to the next part in the, in the system. What you will see is a non-return type of a wall. So this is the wall which is used here. When the air passes through it, it will allow the air to move only in one direction. So from here to here, the movement of air is possible whereas the reverse flow is not allowed. Then in the system, you have different type of joints also. This is one joint which is called as a T-joint. These are all easy removal type of joints which allow the tubing to be just inserted and joint becomes leak proof. This is a 5 by 3 direction control wall. It has 5 ports and these ports are generally numbered. This port is used for inlet. These two are used for exhaust. These two ports are active ports which are then connected to the cylinder. All of air inside the cylinder is done through these. The direction control wall sends the compressed air in these two ports and then they further operate the piston inside the cylinder. These are controlled. The speed of the moving piston can be controlled by these. So if you close any of these, it is going to affect the speed. These are limit switches. They limit the stroke of the piston. So the two points at which the piston should stop are defined and we can move these limit switches to our required position. So as soon as the pin comes into contact with the limit switches, the signal is sent to the controller to stop the movement in that particular direction and at the same time reverse the direction of the 5 by 3 wall and each position of the wall is shown here. It has three positions which are shown here which will be also discussed in the presentation and this wall is basically also contains a coil, an electric coil which is used to operate it. The specification of the coils printed onto the coil and this is a 24 volt AC 50 by 60 hertz coil. Similarly you can have a DC coil that is also available in the market that is uh, 1 by half inch to 3 by 4 inches. Then you have connectors. These connectors are used to connect pipings also called as a easy fit push type connector. So what you can see is that the pipe just needs to be inserted and it is basically locked here and you cannot remove it by applying much effort. In order to remove it, you have to just push this and then remove the pipe. This is the hand tool which was used. So it has different torque settings. So we can manually set the torque to which you want to tighten the screws. So that torque can be uh, set here and you can operate under that particular torque. The ring spanner can be used for tightening the flange nut. Then you have different ratchet available here and These are the other chair testing machines.